Hey everyone, welcome to Jazz TV for MMA Overdrive. I'm here with Aisha Issa. You might remember her from her latest movie in Immortals where she gets to play one of the high priestesses. How did it feel seeing yourself on the big screen? Um, it's, uh, it's always an awkward situation. <laughs> uh, you hold your breath, you kind of try to hide and pretend that it's not really happening. And, uh, Try to get through it. It's awkward. I don't think it's something you ever really get used to. Was it hard to get into the mindset to portray like a character that was so mythical? I think that it was probably a lot easier for me than it would have been for a lot of people, or for a lot of actors, I should say, just because I had absolutely no acting experience whatsoever. So I didn't know if I was doing something wrong. I had nothing to worry about. I was just there to have a good time. and. Uh, you know, the opportunity really fell into my lap. So I just enjoyed it to the fullest and allowed myself to fantasize and imagine and play make-believe a little bit without worrying about any technical aspects of acting. So what was your biggest challenge on set? Um, I don't think the biggest challenge was really for me as much as it was for <laughs> my keepers or the people who were supposed to, you know, try to keep track of me because uh, it was my first time on a movie set and it was a huge set like they had a costume department the size of this gym or and then like the stunt department was like again the size of this gym and this is all in one location so of course I'm running from one department to another just asking questions what are you doing what is that made of what is this what is that and people are like where's Aisha so that was my biggest challenge which is like trying to just sit still and what was your favorite moment while filming in that movie um, I have to say that I really, I had a couple, right, because just, they just kept coming, so the first one was seeing the custom-made costume, that was like, that was intense, you know, and then um, meeting the stunt team and just seeing them train and learning the, the stunt choreography that we were supposed to do, just that opportunity of learning how to do that physical acting, that was probably, I have to say, my favorite part. So you do Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu, um, do you find that that's helped you a lot in stunts? It's helped me a lot in pretty much everything. That's how I ended up, that's kind of why I got casted for the role. I think it gave me a big advantage over the other people who had auditioned, is the fact that they were looking for, um, first of all, tall, athletic females. And the reason for that was because we were supposed to have a big fight scene. It eventually got cut, but we were supposed to do that. So I had actually been on my way back from uh, Abu Dhabi, the first Abu Dhabi tournament. Was it the first or the second? Right after I won the Abu Dhabis, uh, in, uh, and uh, I still had my cornrows in my hair, and you know, I got a phone call asking me to go uh, to this audition. I didn't have an agent. I thought it was like some kind of a, a scam. I almost didn't go, and I just took a detour on my way to the gym that day. Apologized for my appearance, and you know, told them I was going to go train. They asked me what I did. I told them. They looked at each other, and they were all like taking notes, and then. A couple months later, I got a phone call for the role, and okay. yeah, it worked out. So you do a lot of stunts. What's the craziest stunt you've ever done? I think the ones that are the most out of my comfort zone are the ones that uh, are that, like the doubling of, of another actor. I've only done that once. Like when it comes to fight choreography and things like that, I've, I've trained boxing, I've trained a little Muay Thai, I do Jiu Jitsu. I'm not really scared of using my body and getting close to people and you know swinging and all that stuff. I like that stuff. It's it's like it's my zone, you know. When it comes to jumping off of things, <laughs> you know, <laughs> that's like a whole other story. And you know, you really think you can do it. You're like, yeah, pff, I can jump from up there. There's no problem. You're then you're there. standing up there and you realize this is like a whole other six feet, right? From, where, from for eye level. It's not from your feet. And they're asking you to jump on a mat this big and pretend you're elbowing someone on the way down. But don't really elbow him because you don't really want to hurt the guy, right? And you're just like, I changed my mind. But you can't say that to anybody. You can't tell anyone. So. Well, thanks so much for your time. And guys, if you haven't checked out Immortals yet, make sure you do and watch for her. She's one of the high priestesses. For Jazz TV, I'm your host, Jasmine Jason.